Roshna Porter, and I'm the lead author for Investing in Adolescents. I'm going to talk about figure two. We were really interested in what we termed effective schools, which are those schools that contributed positively to many aspects of students' growth in the transitional eighth to ninth grade year, and especially to their socio-emotional development. Going to one of these effective schools significantly improves students' likelihood of graduating from high school and attending college relative to attending other schools. On this figure, what we show is what characterizes effective schools and what makes these schools different from other schools. Each bar on the graph represents the amount of variation in school effectiveness explained by the variable or variables labeled under each bar. I'm going to focus on the tallest bar labeled school climate. Each year, students and teachers take a school climate survey that asks them about the organizational conditions in their school how effective their leaders are, how collaborative the teachers are, the degree to which families are involved, how supportive the environment is, and how ambitious the instruction is. That last bar is a composite measure of school climate and culture. So what we are showing here is that the composite school climate and culture measure explain most of the variation in school effectiveness, comparatively more than any of the other variables that we examined. In other words, how schools are organized is an excellent predictor of school effectiveness. Thank you.